Hello everyone. Once again, I welcome you all for British Literature subject Unit Three videos. In the Unit Three, we are going to a uh, brief about the first topic that is Artusa, Hymenti Intellectual Beauty by P. B. Shelley. P. B. Shelley he is an English Romantic poet. A great poem is a fountain forever, overflowing with the waters of wisdom and delight. So this is the definition given by P. B. Shelley about poem. A poem should teach delight and wisdom. and also the next beautiful explanation about poetry given by pb shelley is poetry is utilitarian as it brings civilization by awakening and enlarging the mind itself by rendering is a respectful of a thousand unhappened combination of thought or to the west wind ozymandias to a skylark defense of poesy prometheus and bound all the poems are very very famous works and given by pb shelley So this poem Hymen to Intellectual Beauty was written during the summer time in the year 1816 Percy and Mary Shelley stayed with Lord Lord Byron near Lake Geneva Switzerland so Percy Shelley her, and his sister Mary Shelley both stayed with Lord Byron in the place called Geneva that is in Switzerland and uh, this poem it has 84 line in it, it is a ode it was influenced by g jacques rousseau novel of sensibility julie or the new heloise and william wordsworth ode intimations of immortality there is a spiritual power that stands apart from both the physical world and the heart of a man so this is the main and central theme of the poem Our next poem we are about to discuss is Ode, Intimation of Immortality from Recollections of Early Childhood by William Wordsworth, a famous romantic poet. And uh, this poem it is completed in the year eighteen not four and published in eighteen not seven in two volumes. So it is considered as Wordsworth's greatest masterpiece. This poem brings and gives uh, about William Wordsworth childhood and his memory, the connection uh, of William Wordsworth with nature and the human soul. So he is a uh, he give importance to nature and his connection is to nature is mostly described in the poem. Childhood and also the gradual progression of man is also discussed beautifully in this poem. At last, he conveyed a, a entire meaning of the old poem in a single line that is "Soul is everlasting," remaining everything is mortal. A next poem, "She Walks in Beauty," written by by Lord Byron. So Lord Byron, he was uh, a sixth Baron Byron. His life span is seventeen eighty eight to eighteen twenty four. He is a leading figures of the Romantic movement, and this poem it is published in eighteen fifteen. It captured a sense of the beauty of a particular woman. So the title itself emphasizes the beauty. The beauty of which it describes not outer beauty, the inner beauty of a woman makes her outer beauty even more potent. So we can relate uh, a proverb called a face is index of the mind. Similarly, if we have that inner beauty, automatically it expresses in our outer beauty. And uh, next one, Paradise Lost, John Milton. So John Milton, he is a Puritan, and his lifespan is sixteen or eight to sixteen seventy four. He is a blind poet and puritan, and it is greatest masterpiece is Paradise Lost, and it is an epic poem in blank verse, and that is published in sixteen sixty seven with ten books. Then second edition sixteen seventy four in twelve books, and uh, in this third unit we are having Paradise Lost book four. How it opens? So it opens with the soliloquy of Saturn. So Paradise Lost is mostly about the disobedience of man. Rope. So here, Saturn in the opening line of this book four, Paradise Lost. Saturn lands at top of Mount Nepal, just north of Paradise, the Garden of Eden. So that's all. Again, thank you so much for watching my video. I meet you all in the Unit Four video of British Literature. Thank you.